In this video, we're looking at a simple harmonic oscillator, and we're told that at t equals zero, this oscillator has a speed of 1.05 meters per second and a displacement from equilibrium of 18.2 centimeters. And of course, we're given the specs on this thing. The mass is 375 grams. We'll want to change that to 0.375 kilograms. And the spring constant is 9.5 newtons per meter. In part A, we're asked to find the amplitude of the oscillator by using conservation of energy. And so the idea here is we can look at this snapshot. And at this moment in time, we have some spring potential energy and we have some kinetic energy. If I add all those up, I'll get the total energy in this oscillator. So if we're going to start there. So the spring potential energy part is 1 half kx squared, and the kinetic energy part is 1 half mv squared. And we plug in all the numbers here. Notice that I have to change the centimeters to meters. So that's 0.182 meters all squared. And we plug the mass in the correct units in the squared speed. When we run the numbers on this, we get 0.3641 joules. Now to actually answer the question in part A, we want the amplitude of the oscillator. So what we look at is the moment where the displacement from equilibrium is maximum. And that's the turning point where the mass is temporarily stationary as it's turning around. And at that point, there is no kinetic energy and all the energy is in the spring. Now we normally use an A to talk about that displacement. The maximum displacement from the equilibrium position is the amplitude. So I can say that at the turning point, I have all spring potential energy, and it could be written as 1 half Ka squared. And that's got to be equal to the total energy in the oscillator. And we can go ahead and solve for A symbolically, and I get the square root of twice the total energy over K. And we plug in our numbers, and we arrive at an amplitude of 0.277 meters. And I think the more natural units here would be centimeters. So that's 27.7 centimeters amplitude. In part B, we're asked to get the maximum speed of the oscillator by using conservation of energy. And the position we look at for this is the equilibrium position. When this mass is passing back through the equilibrium position, the spring is back to its natural length. There is no spring energy. All the energy is kinetic, and our speed will be maximized. So we just write down 1 half mv max squared, that's the kinetic energy at that moment, is equal to the total energy in the oscillator, which again would be 0.3641 joules. And we can solve for Vmax symbolically. Multiply by 2, divide by m, and square root the result. And we plug our numbers in, and we arrive at a maximum speed of 1.39 meters per second. And we're done. If you find the physics content on Zach's lab helpful, Click on the Zach's Lab logo on the right to browse playlists and subscribe to the channel. I produce over 100 new videos per month, and subscribing is the easiest way to find new content. Thanks for watching.